I want to review the different type of warmers that we have so you can figure out what works best in your home. Uh, we have two ways that our warmers work. Um, the majority of them that work off of a light bulb, whether it be a 15, 20, or 25 watt light bulb. And then we also have our element warmers that work off of a heating element that is 12 watts. The heating element is this little plate right there and then you put your dish on top. Some of them don't have a separate dish. They're all built into like one main piece. As you can see, I'll turn this one, comes right off. These work off of our 25 watt light bulb. So they are totally safe for your home. Um, this lamp right here that you see, that works off of a 40 watt light bulb. So you can leave this on, you can leave the room, you can leave the house. I actually leave my warmers on 24 seven. Um, so it's just like leaving a light on. We also have our plug-in warmers, or I'm sorry, they're nightlight warmers. They changed the name on us. They have a 15 watt light bulb. So this is the base. The cool part about the base is if you have an outlet that might be upside down or sideways, you can push this button and turn the base to whichever way your outlet might be. You take the bottom of this and turn it right on like that. And then you plug it right into your wall. It's sturdy, it's on there, it's not going anywhere. And then you just push this as your on off button. Those are great for um, kitchens, bathrooms, smaller rooms. Um, my floor plan right here, I have a large living room which is open into my kitchen. So I will typically have this warmer here. This is my large warmer. And I'll have a plug-in as my kitchen so I can carry the scent throughout. Um, this gorgeous gold warmer right here, this is our cream tulip lampshade. They're part of our lampshade collections. They are my absolute favorite. They give off tons of light. They work as a lamp too. So even if you don't have wax in there, um, it's gorgeous on its own as a lamp. A little bit about our wax. These are how our wax bars come. So when you pick your scent, you'll get a clamshell with eight different cubes in them. In our night lights, I would put one cube. In our other warmers, I would put one to two cubes. If you, um, you'll notice the scent or the wax will not evaporate like a candle does. So that means there's no soot. There's no chemicals being released into the air. Um, it's totally safe for you and your family. Um, since it doesn't evaporate, you'll just notice that the scent is gone. One full bar of this is 100 to 120 hours. Each cube is 10 to 15 hours. So um, however long you have your warmers on will be how long that lasts. So if you have two cubes in there, some scents are stronger than others. So say if you have two strong scents on there, you're probably gonna get 30 hours out of that. So um, on and off, depending on how long you turn it on and off, however you get to 30 hours is how long it will last. Um, you simply, you can crack it in the actual shell like an ice cube. I pop it like this, I push out the bottom. Of course this wax is giving me issues. Like this. I break off two cubes, like such, and I put it in the warmer. Now, so each warmer, if um, they're a regular warmer, they have like a dish on top that you just put the wax into. The wax is a paraffin-based wax, so it is the same wax they coat apples with. It's a food safe um, or food grade wax. Um, if you go to get a manicure and you dip your hands in the wax, um, paraffin wax is what you use. Because it is such a low watt heat that is melting the wax, the wax never gets hotter than your body temperature, which makes it totally safe for kids and animals. Um, so you can literally dip your hands in the wax. It'll be warm to touch, but is totally safe, which makes it awesome if you do have it around little ones. I have a two year old and we've never had an issue with it. If it were to be bumped into and it spills, um, a blow dryer, low heat, you just put it over it with a paper towel and you wipe it right up. Um, two quick ways to show you how to do clean the wax because obviously once the scent is gone you would put um, don't put more wax in once you stop smelling the scent because now you've diluted the wax and the scent can only escape from the hottest part which is the center of the plate and um, if you put too much wax in there the scent won't be able to escape so less is always more and um, never add new wax to old wax so you're ready to switch out your scent because if you're like me, I like to switch out my scents all the time or if you just need new scent. Um, so you are going to, you can do this one of two ways. If your warmer is already off, you can take the corner of the clamshell right here. You can pop it under this wax, rim it, and it pops right out just like that. Super easy. A tip for you is, um, I'm in a large room. If I'm no longer smelling the scent from this wax right here, but I have this in my bathroom, because my bathroom is such a smaller confined space, I can break up this wax and put it in there and it'll scent up my bathroom. 
If your scent is a, in its liquid state in the warmer, you can take a cotton ball or a tissue or paper towel and it'll soak it right up. So um, you'll have no issues. And I do wanna show you real quick, this is our um, Chasing Fireflies warmer. It is our most popular warmer. Um, this is the color, it's kind of like a seafoam greenish blue when it's off. And then when you turn it on, it glows. And there's little um, firefly all over it so when it's turned on the, the light comes through and lights it like a firefly and um, our company is very much about um, keeping things simple authentic and being generous and about chasing childlike wonder and always remembering that so our warmer says remember to stop and chase the fireflies if you guys have any questions about our wax or our warmers please feel free to send me a message or comment below thanks